breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Group raises alarm. He must not join. No, no way. They raise alarm that Erufai is looking for tactics to join Tinubu's cabinet through the back door. Hence, is pointing to Tinubu that he was there with uh, Ulushego Basanjo and the economy flourish. He needs to come in either as a special assistant in economy development and here and there. They said he's a snake. Ulushego, uh, Tinubu must keep him out and he must not bring him in. So, Erufai, they said, is having talks secretly with Tinubu, he's trying to come in positioning himself that he has solution to the current problem and that if they bring him in he has something to offer well now young people to neither still raise alarm say they don't want to make Tinubu not bring him in say if Tinubu bring him in say problem go D. they say they don't want to make, make it make it face forward make it go wow you know make it go wow the thing just surprised everybody and say make it go. You want people not be another person. And I they say no, 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 no. We don't want him. You know, we don't want him. We want somebody else to come on board. You know, if they, if they, if, they, if, they, if somebody from, uh, from this end, let it be. You know, let it be somebody. You know, from another, from, from, you know, from the state, not him. You know, uh, you know. So this is what is happening, uh, right about now. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details as we understand some of these things going on now. Group raises alarm over Aero 5 backdoor tactics to join Tinubu's cabinet by hook or by crook. The civil rights movement in Nigeria has accused Malam Nesom Erufai of a plot to join President Bola Metinubu's cabinet through the back door. Describing the former governor as an evil genius, the group said he's out to continue the persecution of Christians in the country. He's an evil man. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja, Conveyo Okoa Daniel said Erufai is using the support academic pursuit as a smoke screen to further his evil agenda against Nigerians. Daniel recall how the former minister targeted the national monarchs of banditry when upon assumption of office as Kaduna state governor decided to pay millions of naira to killers who massacred several southern Kaduna communities insist, ins, instead of asking law enforcement agencies to go after them. He said he was settling them so that they don't come after his state. However, people know that he was giving them money to go and buy and machineries, giving them money to go and get more for the state. He added, Nigerians should ask him to explain how they have been dead how they have been declined in activities of banditry since he left office. Kaduna is experiencing relative peace. Why he was making a show of being against the bandits, his real intention was using them to destroy the state of those who do not stand or believe in what he stands for or what he, who he is. The military terms that were deployed by the former by the federal government to arrest the situation is known in his relevant quarters. Erofi has a hand in the bandits. He, he should explain to Nigerians how he warned the security and military command not to kill people in his, in his ethnic stock, even when they were caught committing terrorism acts or kidnapping people for ransom. He should explain the almost zero persecution rate for those who were arrested and how arrested suspect got away into the wild to carry out more at, uh, attacks and abandonment, abandonment of government and Erufai did nothing. Erufai is equally responsible for promoting toxic concept of ethnic superiority and vengeance seeking, murderous rage when he wrote on June the 15th, 2012 on his then Twitter that he will write this for all to read. Anyone, and anyone, Sodia, or, or not that kills the Fulanese, takes a loan repayment. One day, no matter how long, he will definitely pay back. The fallout of that incitement is the murderous campaign being waged by few misled people who have been killing Christians and other ethnic groups based on Aerofi's statement that has caused more harm than good in the state. So they say Aerofi is looking for a way. He's trying his hardest best possible 
to come into the governance. He's really you doing and using and trying to do everything humanly speaking possible. And Tinubu must be wise. He said Erufa is a snake. Recently, Erufa told Tinubu that um, you know Olushe Basanjo did very well. Uh, he was in the government. Uh, you know the government of Olushe Basanjo, You know second to not to the extent that Basanjo paid all the debt yes that was true uh, basanjo paid all the debt he said the oil you know boom at that time and the management was superb you know he spoke very highly of basanjo and said and said you know uh tinubu should go and learn from basanjo however it's also a tactic to tell to tinubu i am here if you need guidance and counsel please come to me i have uh, something to say to you I know how to go about it. I have been there for previous government. Um, you are just a first-time president. Let me help. Let me bring something to the table. So these are some of the ways that the you know they've been able to pick out that you know uh, Erufai is looking for. We presently he says is studying in Egypt, but with this studying in Egypt and all that is going on, there is still that uh, plans you know and other things going on you know that is trying to do in order for him to remain where he is you know so that he can come in and he can come in and he can do some things you know in the government this is aero five for you everybody is beginning to watch and really ask questions aero five why are you so bent on coming back you served in how many administration you have been you have also uh, you know you've also been a governor to tenor and yet you want to be there forever and ever when the you know it was the senate uh, you know femi bachimamila and the rest of them that made sure he left Oh yeah, they didn't confirm him. And when he went to meet uh, Tinubu, thinking Tinubu would confirm him, Tinubu said that um, he's waiting for a report. So he got the memo that you know he's not welcome, he's not wanted. However, he still wants to come back. He's looking for every way, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that he finds a way back into the government. And this is what he's trying to do now. So the people are saying that we should not be deceived. Tinubu himself should be wise. That Erufa is a green snake under the green grass. They said he's devilish. He's a devil incarnate. And Erufa is somebody that, you know, if you look at him, you will not... Uh, Erufa has, you know, he has a, a set mind on how things should be. And if things are not that way for him, he finds it very difficult. People have to, you know, go for it. That's the kind of person Erufa is. So there's a lot involved. There's a lot going on already. And then we just have to be careful you know and they're really 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 careful so it's up to tinubu uh he's the president to decide those who are in his cabinet leave us a comment god bless bye for now